Hey everybody, I'm back. Um, what we have today is another haul video. Um, a lot of books here. Most of these books were, were 25 cents each. And um, I got most of them today, which is Saturday, at the flea market. And uh, some of them I picked up at my local comic shop. Um, but before I get to the books that uh, I picked up uh, between yesterday and today, just wanted to show some other things that I got. Uh, my friend Jennifer that, uh, that I work with picked this up for me. It was a Black Friday sale and uh, got me the Season 2 Arrow for 10 bucks. That was pretty nice of her. Thanks, Jen. <clears throat> um, what I want to show here, this is a book that I showed in a couple of videos back. And um, I, I picked up some bags and some boards recently. And I was going to bag and board them. And uh, I took this one out to bag and board it. And uh, here's the back cover as well. I went to uh, open it. And when I did, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. The light's kind of bright here. Oops, sorry. Let's try this again. It was signed by uh, Kevin Eastman. Let's see if we can get... Uh, and there's a little sketch. So I thought that was really amazing. When I first uh, opened it, I thought, oh, who the hell you know, drew inside the front cover and scribbled? But I looked at it again. I was like, oh, this is autographed. So that was pretty cool. That was a nice little find. So um, hold on a moment, and uh, we'll be right back, and we'll take a look at the books that we picked up. All right, we're back. I just wanted to show this book... Um, a lot of talk about this book um, on YouTube. It's um, the new uh, Wonder Woman jumping on point or starting or relaunch. It's not really a relaunch because they kept the, the numbers the same, but a new team of uh, writers and, and artists and David Finch. And uh, I like this book a lot. Um, a lot of mixed reviews on it. People either liked it or hated it. Um, kind of like uh, when Bat Batgirl got... Uh, <clears throat> redone but uh, I really like this I'm looking forward to reading more of this hopefully uh, the Finch team will be on it for a while and uh, that um, Ninja Turtles book that I showed uh, I believe it was only a dollar um, that I had picked up in previous videos that was autographed so I had no books on my poll list this week which was good um, it gave me a chance to buy a couple other things um, so these for next group of books that I'm going to show, um, I got for $18, I think. Yeah, I think it was $18. And I also got a long box, too. And uh, I think the guy forgot to charge me for the long box, which was cool. Um, I didn't realize it till I got home, but uh, it's about time something goes my way. Uh, so we got this. I read this. I um, wasn't overly impressed with it. Um, you know, it's going to be a mini series. Um, I probably four issues, I would imagine, and um, maybe it'll get better. Um, this is another book that I picked up that's uh, new this week. Uh, I also wanted to pick up Angela Number One, and uh, they were already sold out. But uh, I got this. So these are the only two current books I got. This was really good. Um, if you like Hellboy, a couple of guys that I know uh, on the tube uh, like Hellboy. This was good. Uh, I haven't finished it yet. Um, but I liked it. All right, so these next books here were a quarter a piece, and um, they were not bagged and boarded. And you can see there, it's a bit of a little indentation in these. I'm gonna see if I can press these out somehow. But um, they're nice in nice shape otherwise. And um, I always wanted to read some of these, so we got uh, these reprints, some Avenger stories. So Marvel Super Action number 17, number 19, and I actually have the original up there. Oh, and I didn't notice there's some something on the bottom there. That's typical me. I never notice these things. Number 21. There's a really bad uh, creasing on these 
I'm sure that I can press this out somehow. Because other than that, they're, they're in really nice shape. Uh, there's no tears in them and no major creasing. It's just like a major dent along the top of each spine. Number 23. I think that's first appearance of man ape. Number 25. Number 26, number 27, and uh, I think the original of this is the first appearance of Ultron, or second appearance of Ultron. And it was an early appearance of, Ult of Ultron. Number 28, and I'm wondering if these also have some Hulk uh, in them as well. Just trying to figure out why he's on the cover, too. Doesn't look like it. I think these are just reprints of uh, Avenger books. So it's 28, 29, number 18, which is the first appearance of uh, the Vision. Um, so that goes with this one. So I, I actually never read that book that's up there. So now I can read these. And number 31. So those were all a quarter. There was one other quarter book that I picked up at the uh, the shop, which is in this pile. We'll come across it in a moment. And um, let me uh, make some room for some other books. The next group of books that I got were a buck a piece, and uh, I'll show those now. All right, so these were a dollar. Um, I've been big in collecting covers of uh, the artists that I really like, no secret there, I've been, almost all of my past few videos had the, either Michael Turner or Adam Hughes or, um, oh my god, um, J. Scott Campbell and a couple other guys that I like. So these are some Michael Turner covers, uh, Batman Superman number 9, number 13, with a really nice Supergirl cover. Uh, Suicide Squad, number two. Can't get number one, so you might as well get number two. They had a couple other Suicide Squad uh, covers, books, um, that um, I just the only one I grabbed. Uh, Secret Invasion, War of Kings, one shot. Black Bolt's on the cover, and we know the Inhumans is going to be popular. Another copy of Action Comics number 595. Uh, I already have that. There it is there. It's uh, with my few DC books that I have on display. First appearance of Silver Banshee. I think uh, I'm going to put that in, in the contest video when I hit 400 subscribers. Um, one day I'll get there. Maybe another 40 or so more to go. This was a cool book for only a dollar. Marvel Tales number 17. Obviously, it's uh, some reprints, but still, it's a Silver Age uh, book for a quarter. It's in nice shape. It's got a thick spine on it, and it's a nice spine, too. And it was bagged and boarded to boot. This is a cool book uh, I got for a dollar. And it, uh, I think it's the, uh, the Death of Gwen Stacy uh, reprint, Marvel Tales, number 98. Uh, this book was 25 cents. That's a gorgeous uh, Arthur Adams cover. Arthur Adams, he's going to be at the uh, New Jersey uh, the East Coast Comic Con um, in February, April, maybe April. Um, so I'm going to get him to sign that for me. And then this book was a quarter. Um, first appearance of Angela in the Marvel Universe. So... Those are the books that I picked up at the comic shop um, yesterday, um, so I spent a total of $18 on those. Now this stack here um, cost me $22 um, for everything you see here. Every book was a quarter. Um, he had a, same, I'm a lot again, he had a lot of Gru the Wanderer books, and uh, I've never read Gru. So I figured at uh, 25 cents, why not? So it's a good way to introduce myself to the character. 
So we have number 21 and number 22. And if I don't like these, then I'll, I'll put them up for trade if somebody's interested in them. Uh, they can always shoot me a message. 22, number 23. It went all the way up to number 90. Here's number 90. That's a big gap. It went from January of 1987, number 23, and now I'm up to number 90, and it was $2.25 to cover. I didn't know it was around, around it that long. Number 15. Number 17. Number 18. Number 19, and these grew books, he said I can have five for a dollar instead of four for a dollar. I guess he just was looking to get rid of them. <laughs> Number 20. This is an interesting cover. Number 10. Number 11. Number 12. Number 13. Number 14. And number 3. Number 6. Number 7. Number 8. That's a neat cover. And uh, number 9. So those are all the group books that I got today. Make room for some more. All right. More 25 cent goodness. Uh, Wolverine Bloodlust. I think this is a one shot. Cover price on this when this came out was $4.95. It was in nice shape. Got my first G.I. Joe book today. Number one. Special uh, G.I. Joe Special Missions. And uh, Steve, uh, Fool Killer 5150, we were talking today uh, about going to comic shops and, you know, when the wives are not looking and spending money on stuff that you know that they're uh, not going to be a fan of. Um, and Steve, these are the books that I was telling you about here that you may be interested in. I thought about you when I picked these up. Uh, number 91 of Ghosts. Ghost Manor, number 35. As I know you're big into the horror. Um, number 36 for Ghost Manor. Ghostly Haunts, number 56. This is a book that I've seen in, uh, I think even Mercenaut's video, I think he's shown this. This is, uh, um, it's, appearance of this character. I'm sorry, I forgot her name. It's the female Robin from The Dark Knight, um, which I never, I actually never read that. Um, I'll have to put that on my to-do list. But uh, The Amazing amazing Man, number 12. This is a really nice uh, Adam Hughes cover that I've never seen before. Uh, Secret Files and Origins, number 2. Has some condition issues here, but uh, couldn't pass that up. Thor number 430 and 411. I think this is the first appearance of the New Warriors or a cameo of them. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it is. But even if it's not, it was a pretty nice Thor book for a quarter. So I grabbed that. All right, keep the, keep the, keep it moving, keep it moving. Got some more Michael Turner stuff, and uh, I got. I wish there was a tripod for the iPad, so uh, I don't bounce around like so much. Um, the Witchblade Collected Editions from Michael with Michael Turner. I picked up a couple of Witchblade things today. I'm a little bit out of order. All right, here they are. So we grab that. 
And then uh, these are some pretty amazing covers. A uh, nice little run of these. Um, I grabbed all the Witchblade that he, they had that with Michael Turner uh, art. So we have number 11. Number 12. Whoops. 13. 14. And this is a character I don't know much about. I, I know there was a TV show um, a few years back. Number 15. Number 17, number 18, number 19, number 20, 21, I think that dude's name is The Darkness, maybe? And more of these collected editions um, for the Witchblade. Got that one. These were four ninety five cover prices. Uh, I don't know the num uh, the numbering on these, but uh, so I got three of these collected editions for Witchblade. So those should be interesting reads. Um, found some Star Wars comics, number three for a quarter. I dropped them on the ground. Uh, so we're at number three. Then we jump all the way to sixty four. And the last one that I'm picking up off the ground is 31. One more horror type book uh, from Charlton. The Many Ghosts of Dr. Graves, number 48. Interesting artwork. The Fury of Firestorm, The Nuclear Man. I don't think this is the first volume. Um... Let's see. I don't know a lot about the character. What I do know about him is from watching other people's videos. This is volume three, issue one. So that was only a quarter. Um, this was an interesting book for a quarter. Jungle Action, number one. It's not bad. It's, uh, it's not as white as I'd like it to be. It's funny, when I bought this book and then the next book I'll show you, uh, he immediately pulled out the price guide because uh, he, he realized that uh, they probably didn't belong in the quarter bin. And uh, other than the, the tanning on this book, it's in nice shape. There's no rips or anything on it. Uh, when he looked it up, it was only a $10 book. Um, but I got it in the quarter bin. And uh, Tarzan number one for a quarter, he was looking that up. He said this was only a $5 book, um, but I got it for a quarter. Wonder Woman, number one. Terry Dotson, another artist I really like. Avengers, number 477. Always like Jack of Hearts. Got Red Sonia, number one. She-Devil with a Sword. Uh, I'm not sure if I, I might already have this. There's just so many different variant covers to Red Sonia with Dynamite. Um, but I don't, I know I don't have this particular cover. Got some amazing Spider-Man for a quarter. Avengers number 490. And Avengers number 472 or number 57. Uh, here's a mini series that I didn't, uh, I didn't have, um, and I gotta get the rest of it. This is Marvel The End, number three of six. Number two of six. This was done by Jim Starlin and Al Milgram. And number six of six. There's Thanos on the cover. Superman uh, and Orion, DC Comics Presents. It was in nice shape, so I grabbed it. Danger Girl, number one. Um... I don't know if this is... I don't think this is J. Scott Campbell's cover. But he does... I'm pretty sure he does the interiors. Va, number one, yeah. Cover B. Yeah, so... I grabbed that anyway. He had a lot of Danger Girl books today. And I didn't grab them. Uh, Dark Horse Comics Presents. Number 46 with the... Uh, 
Predator. Uh, drama. It's a character called Cry for Dawn or Dawn. And Defenders number 112. So um, hold on a moment. I'm going to make some room for some other books and be there in a moment. And for my $22 today, I was able to get 96 comics. So I think that's I think it's a pretty good deal. Uh, let me know, guys, what you think. If uh, I think I got a I think I got a pretty good deal on all these books. Uh, Michael Turner's Fathom uh, number 12. Um, Michael Turner cover of the Fantastic Four number 550. I gotta look and see if he did any other ones. I'd like to see some Invisible Woman covers that he might have done. Another Gru the Wanderer. I think I saw this book in in um, Scott 13OX's video maybe recently. Uh, it's a relatively famous cover from from this series. So it's Gru number 16. Hit Girl number one, third printing variant cover. I really love those movies, the the uh, kick-ass movies. Uh, Terry Dotson cover for Wonder Woman fourteen, and this was a promotional copy. Um, it's free. Doesn't say free comic book day. Not for sale, promotional use. So if anybody knows anything about this book, Hero Hunter 81 or Vin Crew, one of you dudes who know everything about everything, uh, let me know if there's anything significant about this book at all. If you know anything about it or anybody, just uh, let me know in the comments. Speaking of Vin Crew, he's got a um, contest video out. Uh, I think he's hit 600 subscribers, maybe. Um, hope I'm not short shorting him some subs, but uh, check out his channel. Uh, he's got a uh, contest going on now, which I hopefully will be entering soon. Uh, some Inhumans uh, mini series, number three of four, number four of four, and one of four. I'm missing number two of four. I bet you I'll never find that. Um, if anybody has a number two that's an extra and they want to trade it. Uh, let me know. Uh, we got here... I only grabbed these because they're in really, really nice shape. And uh, I wanted to save them from... Well, they're not in the... I thought they're in really nice shape. But the corners are sharp on them anyway. And uh, it was only a quarter. And this is Korak, son of Tarzan. And um, this is number 48 from 1972. So some really nice Bronze Age stuff. This is Korak number 47, Son of Tar Tarzan, but it says here, second DC issue. So they must have been with another company uh, before. And that's a nice shape, number 47. And uh, number 50. Another Star Wars, number 32. Man-Thing, number 2. This is actually a... Uh, a double. Uh, I'll be putting that in a trade video. Um, Machine Man number 11. King Conan number 1. I actually grabbed two of these by accident, but uh, so that means I'll have one for trade. And they're both in pretty nice shape. Thick spines on them. This one's maybe got a little condition issue on the top. Kazar, uh, Lord of the Hidden Jungle, number seven. That's in really nice shape. This is a book here that I bought strictly for the cover. I don't know anything about it. Root des Masonus Rogues, um, number seven. But the interior arts. Whoa, uh, sorry, the interior arts. <laughs> pretty good too so I figured I'd give this a check um, if I like it maybe I'll look for some other issues of it I was very very happy to find this Marvel Comics presents number one um, J. Scott Campbell cover we got Spider-Man, Hellcat Captain America, Taskmaster Hulk and some dinosaur so I was very very happy to find this book I've seen this in a couple other videos 
Um, and I only got that for 25 cents. Black Panther number two. Amazing Spider-Man 566. 620. 672. 624. Battlestar Galactica, number one. I remember watching uh, Battlestar Galactica when I was a kid. I think I even had some of the action figures, too. Beetle Bailey, number uh, 59, 12 center. It's got some, I don't know, some weird issues going on here. Oh, Jesus, didn't even notice that the back cover is cut off. You know, when you're going through these quarter bins, you just start... Well, at least for me, I just start ripping things out. But uh, I remember reading Be Beetle Bailey in the Sunday comics when I was a kid. Uh, Bone, number 43. And number 42. And these are the originals, not the uh, reprints. These are from cartoon books. Black Canary, Wedding Planner, number 1. I think uh, there's one for, with her and Green Arrow on the cover that I see in a lot of people's videos. That's This one here is not the one. Um, Backlash and Spider-Man, one of two. And two of two. So I figured that'd be an interesting read. And then the last two books here, uh, Schmo Daddy, if you're watching, these are kind of up your alley. Um, these were only a quarter, Challenges of the Unknown. Number 61, not too bad. And uh, the last book is number 57, also Challengers of the Unknown. If you need these, uh, Joe, let me know. We can work out a trade for these two books uh, if you want. Because I know you're trying to put the, the run together. So that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for... Um, you know, always leaving comments. I'm behind on, re you know, replying to everybody's comments. Just been busy with things. Um, you know, thanks to everybody who watches my channel and sits through my videos. Um, I'm at, what, 360-some subscribers. I never thought uh, I'd get past 100. Um, <clears throat> so thanks to everybody. And um, until next time.